All right, guys, I'm back. Um, the last video that I just did with the nose, um, to sew the nose on, I forgot to tell you to tie a knot and weave in the end. So, <clears throat> anyway, um, this video I'm going to show you how to sew on the arms, legs, and ears. So, what I've already gotten ready are um, my, um, I've got my needle. I got my hook, which I didn't even use that to weave in ends, but I will um, on the the limbs and I have about six pieces well yeah six pieces one for each part um, about I suck at measurements but I'm gonna say about six to eight inches so you're going to take these strings and I meant to do this before I started the video i um, gonna put them in your needle and I think everybody knows how to tie a knot I'm going to start with the legs just like this um, up here at the top of the leg actually put your feet together because you have a left and a right one I think that looks right okay so what you're going to do is just let me move everything out of the way here and zoom in um, at the top the very top of your leg here insert your needle and make a knot Secure that acrylic yarn to the top of your leg. Remove all those pieces. Go play in your room, bubbies. Okay? Mommy's doing this video. Go ask Daddy. He's on the porch. Popsicles in the morning. Are they crazy? Okay. Let me read my assembly part here. Okay. Actually, in the pattern, it says to attach the eyes next and stuff but I don't have the eyes ready so we're going to skip to no 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 uh, wow guys I think the only thing I've done in the assembly part holy moly I missed the whole part of my pattern all right, well, this isn't in the assembly, so I will have to change my pattern. If you have bought this pattern, I'm going to have to add a lot more steps because my testers, I think, did not point this out unless it's written within my body pieces because I don't have that part of the pattern written out. Holy moly. Okay, anyway, let's just get to it. Um, the legs, you're going to sew up onto the body, not on the butt. So you want them to be up here so when he sits down, I need to get the little rivet things, that would be cute. But I'm not that advanced yet. So, you zoom out. You want your leg to be up on the body like this. And just poke it in poke it out just like that and you just weave this in and out like I said the velvet yarn is really good at hiding the acrylic yarn so just sew that leg on and I just go in and out for the top and to show you kind of how to secure um, the leg farther down, like right here, I go into the side of my leg, like right here into the side, and I come out, and tighten that down. Then you're gonna kind of put the leg, kind of bend it down just like this, and you're gonna pick the stitch that comes out right below where this yarn would go. So like right here, come out on this side. Like this, lay the leg down and go into the back of the leg. And then I usually come back out where my knot was tied, like right there. Kind of tighten that up a bit, but not too tight. And that way it's kind of more secure. And then I tie a knot with this shoe super short little string here you can leave a longer tail so it's easier 
but this is also one reason why I use my hook to even ends because there is no way I'm getting that little bitty thing into a needle. So you just take your hook, poke it anywhere into the body, grab those two pieces of yarn, and pull them in. But you have to pick a stitch close enough to where you don't see where it was pulled in. Also avoid um, pulling too hard if it's not coming through because you could be hooked a piece of your velvet yarn. And if it breaks, uh, you're gonna have to start over. So there you go on that leg. Let me do an arm. Again, you're going to get a piece of acrylic yarn and your arms are sewn together at the top. So pick a stitch on the side. And you can make your acrylic pieces longer. I just did this because I didn't really want really long pieces. Okay, so to sew it on, I always start with my yarn on my right side. Doesn't matter which side you start on, but it's going to be sewn to the same seam as the head was sewn to the body. So pick a stitch, go in and out. Yeah, I should have cut longer string. So, about 12 inch string should be good enough. Or pieces of yarn. And in and out in the next stitch. Pull tight so you can't see your acrylic yarn. In and out. Go in. In and out. What, Taz? You gotta stay down there. Okay. Okay, now once you get to this last stitch, you're gonna do what you did with the leg. Come out down here at the body. Come out down here. Zoom in here. Okay. Go into the back of the arm. And come out on this side just like that when you kind of lay the arm down pick that stitch that's right underneath come out where your um, yarn tail is up here at the top that kind of secures the arm down a little bit more I'll zoom out here in a minute and show you Okay, let me tie this and weave it in and I'll show you how it kind of secures it on there more. Okay. Weave that in. I'm going to go in somewhere down here on the belly. Shove my hook up there. Grab onto those yarn pieces, making sure it's not any velvet. And I do kind of twist my hook because I got to get that yarn on there. Good thing about velvet yarn is it stretches a bit so you can really pick a stitch. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I mean by securing it on, usually it's just along the neck. It makes it really floppy. But when you secure it down here a little bit more, it's like a whole... The whole piece is just more secure same way with the leg instead of just being at the top there's like a whole nother section down there where it's sewn on okay now I'm going to show you how to do an ear and then I'm going to do um, the other side by myself oh that's wheeze nope 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 sorry wheezy gotta get down baby you can't get up here mommy's making a video okay so for the ears when you make your ears um, you're going to sew the end shut, which I will add a picture of that to the pattern. And then you fold that end in half and sew that shut. Um, has a really short tail because again, I'm using acrylic yarn to sew it on. Um, I notice when I'm writing my patterns, I guess I'm just so used to making amigurumi animals. I forget to add all the extra, um, 
pictures and stuff for beginners. But the beginners that have done this pattern have done very well. Okay, so what I do, um, let me see, how do I want to do this? I forget, every time I do an ear, I forget where I attach it at. Um, I'm going to attach it back here at this point in the back of the ear. It's be easier to hide that way. So I'm just gonna tie my knot here. Alrighty. And you always want to put your ears on before you put your eyes on because eyes are the last part I do. Facial sculpting is the most important part of this pattern. It is what makes your baby um, hippo cute. I mean, it's cute either way, but facial sculpting is the most important part. Okay, so when you look at your hippo head, you want to, like, you don't want them way, you don't want them way up here together. That's like a bunny. And you don't want them way down here. That's like a monkey, which I'm planning on making a monkey pattern soon. So you want them to kind of be on the sides of the head like this. And the way I measure is if you take, let me lay these down the seams of the nose, the end of your chain right here. Put the eyes and then put the ears, like line them up. Okay, so let me sew this ear on real quick. So when I look at my hippo, I want my ear to be lined up with that stitch. I think I want it about right there. Yeah, that looks about right, okay. You want it back here. So I'm trying to look at it in the camera and down here. And you want it to be lined up with this center thing right here. So pick a stitch to go into since it's in the back. And come out. And that little tail from your actual, your ear tail will probably get in the way. So just tuck it up into the ear for now. Then um, after I go in the back, come out this stitch in the front, I'm going to go down into the ear, come back out this back stitch, and pretty much, I mean, secure the ear to the head. It's really easy. I like mine to be very secure, so I will go in and out through the center of the ear a few times before I feel confident that little baby or somebody's not gonna rip it off. And that's another reason why I like acrylic yarn. You can pull and it doesn't break. Well, I mean, it depends on how hard you pull, but for what we're doing here, it shouldn't, it shouldn't break. Okay, I've got that. Now I'm gonna tie a knot. And I use my needle to help me tie my knot because my fingers this morning are not working. Okay, in with your hook up to the closest stitch to your knot. Wrap those ends around there. Oops, I lost them. And weave them in. Might have to do it several times with that long string. There we go, now that's in. Um, now for this yarn tail, you can just come in anywhere. I'm gonna go right in front of the ear since it's velvet, you can't really see it anyway. Pull that down in there. Make sure you don't pull any of your stuffing out the side. I don't know why I did the ear on that side and the arm and leg on the other side, but whatever. So there's half of it. I'm going to stop the video because it's already been 14 minutes. So the other leg, arm and ear on, and I will get back in another video with the eyes. So I'll see you in just a little bit.